Praise God. My name is Grarisan Wanjiro, and I'm here to give you the word for today. We will read from uh, Ephesians 6, from 12 to 13. For we are not writing against human beings, but against the wicked spiritual forces in the heavenly world, the rulers, authorities, and cosmic powers of this dark age. So put on God's armor now. Then, when the evil day comes, you will be able to resist the enemy's attack. And after fighting to the end, you will still hold your ground. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, we come before you, dear mighty Father. Thank you, new Father, for this morning, O oh, thy great Jehovah. As we go, dear mighty God, into your word, O oh, thy great Jehovah, may you, see, may you use me, dear mighty Father, as the vessel of your word, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and believe. Amen. My sermon today will be about putting Christ, Jesus Christ, as our hope. And as, I've, as we have read in our, uh, in our reading, we've read about putting on the armor of God in order to protect us in whatever we do, in whatever we go through, especially right now when we are going through this uh, pandemic of, uh, of the coronavirus. We ask God to protect us, to be our hope, to walk with us, to be with us. Because even as you watch on the television yeah, nowadays, most of the things that you see, you see things that are not worthy of praising God's, uh, God's name. You see things, murder, murders, uh, so many murders, uh, husbands and wives, there is no peace in the homes. Children, there is no peace in the homes. Whatever we read also in the social media, it is not encouraging end to us. But this is to tell you, my dear brethren, that we have to go back down onto our knees so that dear, uh, our dear mighty Father can be upon us, can walk with us, can protect us, can be our divine protector, can be, we can cling unto him so that Whatever we do, we do it filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. If we look at our reading, we extend to verse 15, uh, to verse 14, verse uh, 14a. It is talking about the, the belt of truth. There, when Jesus Christ started his ministry, he went, uh, the Holy Spirit sent him at, into the desert, into the wilderness, where he was tempted by the, the evil one. The devil tempted him, but he held the Bible. He held the words from the book of from the book of God as his weapon to fight against the devil. And he, as he has told us, that the Satan is the father of lies. Deception is one of the enemy's oldest tactics. So even us today, we have to go through all that. We will be attacked by the devil. He will attack us in many different ways through difficult times. That is when he likes uh, attacking the people who trust and who love God. Then as we watch for uh, as we look at 14b, we see that the breastplate of righteousness guards our heart. So we have to protect our hearts using that breastplate, using the guard, because our hearts are very susceptible. They are susceptible to all types of sins. Everything, everything that all the weapons that are pierced, they are directed especially in our hearts. So we have to be very careful about whatever we think, about whatever comes out of our mouths. Whatever is fed into our hearts, we have also to be very careful. So let us hold the Bible as one of the sources of fighting the evil one. And then uh, if we look at Proverbs chapter 4, uh, verse 23, it tells us, be careful how you think your life is. How, how you think your life is shaped by your thoughts. So whatever comes into your, heart, into your mind, whatever comes into your heart, whatever you think, it is affected by whatever, uh, by whatever you are going to do. So even those people who are affected right now by the corona, you see, the way they think is whatever they do. So their action, it is... It's brought about by their thinking, by whatever is in that house. So let us 
cling unto the word of God so that we are not driven, so that we don't fall into the temptation, into the attacks of the devil. Uh, then we also have the gospel of peace. In Ephesians 6, 6 15, it talks about fitting our feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. For example, our soldiers, when they have gone to battle, they are fighting. They have to be fully prepared. They have to wear study boots so that whatever, uh, tra uh, whatever, uh, whatever uh, the enemy has laid before them, it cannot affect their feet because they will, the enemy will scatter sharp objects to slow down all your movements. But I'm promising you this morning, my dear brethren, that you have to be careful of the attacks of the devil because he will come from all directions in order to scatter sharp objects to, uh, to affect or to divert your attention so that you can go unto him. But the word of God is very faithful and it shows us that he is God and he is our protector. For Jesus Christ is our hope. The gospel of, our, of peace is our protection. Imagine us that it is by grace that souls are saved. We can sidestep uh, certain obstacles by chanting this, John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Then you also have the shield of faith. May you have faith in you so that you can evade the, all the powers of the evil one. Then we also have the helmet of salvation. Protect the head where thought and knowledge resides. In John 8, 31, 32, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth of salvation through Christ does indeed set us free. We are set free from rain searching. We are set free from meaningless temptations. We are set free from condemnations of sin. And then we have also the sword of the spirit. And we also have the, uh, the power of prayers. As Paul adds to the power of prayers, to the armor of God and praying in spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Satan hates it when we pray. He knows prayers strengthen us and keeps us alert to his deception. Paul cautions us to pray for others as well. May God Help us to walk in good faith with him, to put Jesus Christ as our hope. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Amen.